hey guys this is Lilama and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to share with you guys things that you should know before you decide to come to dubai i will be talking about dubai specifically because i reside in dubai and there are other cities in uae but i don't know much about them so my experience is solely based on dubai before wasting much of your time let's get started Number one, the VOIP access is blocked. That means you cannot use your social platforms to make direct calls or FaceTiming, for example, using Instagram, even WhatsApp, Skype, and other social platforms because the VOIP, like I said, it's in order to make calls, you might wanna download the VPN. Number two, you will get a fine for jaywalking. Now, you might want to always check before you can cross the road. You might want to check for a zebra crossing or a robot. Mostly, the zebra crossing is always close to the robot. So you don't just cross the road. For example, if you come from a country like mine in Zimbabwe, where we always have to check if there's a car coming, if the road is clear, then you're safe to go. Uh, whereas here in Dubai, you always have to locate a zebra crossing for you to cross. If you jaywalk, you have a fine on your A. Number three, the delivery system here. This is my favorite. It's so convenient friendly. Be it you wanna shop online for food, for groceries, for clothing, even furniture. The delivery here is so sufficient. I love shopping online. So if you're one of me, if you love shopping at the comfort, of your home the delivery here is good. number four if you are an introvert if you are someone who doesn't make friends easily or who is not interested in making friends then this place just be prepared to be a loner because it can get lonely out here because there's so many different diverse in this country different nationalities different things okay this is a city where you meet different cultures but if you're an outgoing person then it's gonna be easy for you to make friends and blend into the diverse country five ramadan is very inconvenient that means you cannot drink or eat during the hours of the sunrise or the sunset so before you come here, you might want to check your calendar when Ramadan is starting, when it's ending, so that you know and you're safe. So do your research before you come here, check the calendar, what does it say, when is Ramadan starting, like now, from March 22nd to April 21st or 22nd. So between that time period, you cannot eat or drink or chew in public. Now that brings me to my next point, which is you cannot eat again and drink in a bus or in a public transport, even in a taxi. Metro station, there is a fine to that. Now this does not apply during Ramadan, it's an everyday law. And while we're still talking about Ramadan, there will be stores closed, especially food stores during Ramadan, because you know, this is a Muslim country. They really consider and value their praying times, praying days, praying hours. Everything here is just on point. The law here is just taken seriously. So you might find that if you visit during Ramadan, your favorite store is closed. Or if it is open, they will allow you to come and eat inside, but they will not allow you to pick some leftovers or to buy takeaways. At the same time, some restaurants, they don't save from outside. Now this applies because you cannot be seen eating and mostly the people who be eating are Christians 
and those from other religions because this is a 24-hour country um, it's a city that doesn't sleep obviously so most restaurants they operate during the night and during the day they are closed another advantage that you can take during Ramadan is that they are always offers there are always discounts, there are always sales where you can get up to 90%, some 50 especially the fashion store. And those who come as tourists, there is also discounts whereby you might get a whole package of activities under 100 dirham. So those are some of the advantages that comes with Ramadan. And again, because no one is eating, no one is drinking, so business is quite low. Hence, you tend to find that the open stores are running from us. Another point is that the official native language here is Arabic, but uh, most people here speak English because this is an international city now. So many nationalities are in this country. And you find that it will be easy for you if you're new here to navigate your way as everything is in English, the signs are in English, the applications, the navigations, everything here is in English and Arabic. So it won't be difficult for you to navigate anything. Another point is that whether you're coming here as a tourist or as a job hunter, it's always good to find an accommodation or an apartment or a hotel that's closer to a subway slash metro station because believe me you thank me later everything will be super convenient for you you will save money as well you will save time as well because you're just a few minutes away from the subway station and most subway stations they have a bus station close by so it's always good to leave closer to either a subway or a bus station everything will be easier for you to access another point is that dubai is very expensive everything here literally costs some money but do keep in mind that you can still get a cheaper hotel or a cheaper holiday package but if you want to go beyond sightseeing then definitely you need to be prepared to spend some dollars Another point is that rule breakers are not tolerated out here. You will get fined or jailed for things you might think or might assume are completely normal when in fact you're breaking the law. So you might want to check with the law, you might want to check if what you're doing is aligning with the law out here. Before you decide to come here, you want to check online. I think pretty much everything is just a Google away from you. Most of the information about Dubai is just a Google click away from you. Research about that before you engage in some sort of activities. That was it for you guys. If you have made it this far watching this video, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. subscribe. My next one. Bye.